Hello there everybody, um, this is going to be a review on all of the knives that are now coming out at this time, um, holiday season 2012. You got the Tachyon, you got the new Blade Runners, Alpha Beast, um, Tachyon 2 that is, uh, we got the 67 and we got the 62, all under review and speculation here. I'm going to try to cover all of the aspects I can of these knives that I can and try to give you guys the best input on what I think of the knives as far as collectability and flippability and just overall general quality of the knives here. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and present you the knives, show you how they are. Uh, all packaged here, obviously bench mains, they all come in their pouches here. Your boxes and paper with them all. guys are looking like. Um, all I really have to say about these two guys is that um, they're on the heavy side. Um, that's really the biggest down point of all of these is that they're just heavier than your average balisong knife. I mean obviously that's due to the stainless steel handles. Um, but other than that the balance on them is very well. I don't know how they really achieve that. Um, because, I mean, it's not like flipping a titanium knife at all because, I mean, the balance is, is off, the, ba the knife is more grounded into your hand. Um, but as far as the difference between these two knives in flipping each other as far as the blade weight is changed, uh, it's not really much because um, it seems like they took out a lot of girth in this, in the 67 as opposed to a lot of girth in here so the 67 seems to only be slightly more tip heavy than this they flip very very similar they're not too much of a difference between flipping these knives um, but other than that um, the workmanship on these just like all bench mates is pretty near superior I don't see if I can get a good look at the Tonto I looked at this a lot and I mean, it's a really hard grind to get, and they just about nailed it right there in that section. That's usually the hardest part to get. Maybe just a hair off there, but nothing really you can complain about because that's excellent workmanship on their part. Um, 62 just as well. I mean, they've been making the Weehawk blade probably more than any of their other blades. Obviously, you have the traditional butterfly with the... Uh, that's never going to come in focus, but the 62, and on uh, this one here, the 67. Um, my biggest complaint about these knives, and I absolutely hate it, is you can't remove these latches. Um, one of my favorite things in flipping a knife is the ability to remove the latch. I think the latch gets in the way. I usually know when I'm flipping. I usually know when I have a hold of the bite handle regardless if I can feel a latch in my hand or not that's me personally I don't know about anyone else but I, I still like the option to be able to remove the latch um, that just seems pretty simple to me uh, the other knives I've got here got the blade runners this one's pretty well packed the uh, box is pretty bulky here but it comes with soundproofing packaging. Got the little card here. Blade Runners. Got their little three. I don't even know what they want to call that. You got your back. Rules of engagement. 
pretty hardcore if you ask me. But that's what this looks like. I actually, when I was expecting this knife, I was actually expecting it to be a lot more bulkier than it is. Um, and it, it's not very bulky at all. Um, it, it does have a little bulky feeling to it. Um, I don't know exactly um, explanation behind that. Um, my only guess is that there are very hard edges on these bevels. And um, that's it's really the only bad thing you can say about this knife is um, it just feels a little bulky in your hand. Um, the balance is really different than most knives I've ever flipped. Um, it seems to be a lot of weight down here at the very bottom of the handles and a lot of weight up here at the tip. And it's very skinny in the middle. If you can see that. It's a very skinny up here in the tang and that's where you're doing most of your flipping. So it was really it seems like there's a lot more room for your fingers to twirl and roll and get out of the way of handles and blades but also it seems to be at the cost of uh, momentum um, it seems to be at the cost of aerials also I don't know if that um, aerials are due to the knife being uniquely balanced or if it is due to the knife being so long because this knife is quite long compared to other knives like the uh, like the 6x series I'll give you a comparison there because also the Microtech is also very long. It's actually actually just a, just a hair longer than the Alpha Beast here, and it is not it does not perform very well at aerials either. Um, but one thing I do really like about this knife that I can't say about the Microtech is um, the finish is is done for the most part very well on this knife. Um, all of the edges seem to be really uh, well sanded down. Everything seems to look nice. I'm never going to give you a good representation of that here. Uh, the only complaint I really have, and I have a hard time finding it every time, is right here in one of these channels. You can see where the titanium is just, where the color on the titanium is just fading, just chipping away inside there little copper color right inside there so I mean that's really my only complaint the other the other blade runners I have is not doing that at all uh, so it might just be this one they're really fantastic knives um one other complaint I had with this while flipping is right in here you tend to get pinched in here a lot uh, I got pinched a significant amount of times. Um, you know, that's just annoying. Uh, oh, another thing is down here, I seem to have torque pins or torque screws. Torques screws. And up here in the, uh, the tang pins, not the tang pins, um, the pivot pins we have uh, hex heads in here which I found very odd we have hex in both of the um, both of the blade runners at the pivots which caught me by surprise maybe that's the whole warranty thing that everyone's been doing with their knives lately I don't I void my warranties all the time so alright um, with that being said I'm going to move on to the microtech here microtech is a little more a little harder to get out of the box. I'm going to go ahead and set this down for a second. Sorry, my battery kind of died there. Perfect timing, though. Good spot to uh, go ahead and start over. So, this is what a Microtech is looking like when you pull out of the package. It's got this plastic wrap over these bags. I always love these bags. I like when I get these bags. Get them from Benchmade every once in a while. These Microtech ones look even better, in my opinion. They're not as well padded, but I really like the look of them. And a 
I'll leave all these out for comparison too. Oh, and also in the Microtech bag, I'll show you after I pull this out. I love, I love, I love, love the aesthetics of this knife. It looks just so beautiful. Also with this Microtech bag, you also get a little lanyard here inside. And you have a little rag to wipe down your knives if you want to take pretty little pictures of them without your nasty little fingerprints on them. And it's removable. It's got a little button thing here, if you can tell right there. Can't get the camera in focus. It's not my camera. Um, but yeah, you can pull that on and off. I'm not going to do it. It's too much fucking work for you guys. I'm lazy. Alright, so let me open this bad boy up. First uh, First thing, I'm going to go ahead and start complaining about this right off the bat. <laughs> Even though I like this knife a little bit better. Um, there's a lot of flex when you push these handles together. It seems like it's a little bit too much for me. But, that's already first complaint. Um, but this knife, even though it's the same width as the Alpha Beast, like if you were to set these side to side here, they're the same height. They're nice and flush. But, still, the Alpha Beast feels a little... Uh, not heavier in your hand because it feels like a lighter knife, but it feels almost bigger in your hand. Almost like the handles are a bit wider. I don't know whether that's due to up here, up here in the tang area where these aren't rounded off and where you get pinched. I don't know if that has to do with it, but these handles on the Tachyon seem to be really, really well rounded off. They're really soft and they feel really nice in your hand. And again, I just like the overall aspect of the knife. I love that really sleek, really almost on it's on the thin side of a Bowie blade and it's it's really nice. But I have I do have a good amount of complaints about this. This knife probably in my opinion flips better than the Alpha Beast. But aesthetically not aesthetically, I still like the aesthetics of this, but fit and finish wise I have I have a good amount of complaints about about the Tachyon. Um they did a really good job here on the Blade Runners, and I really congratulate um, Lucy and Casey on doing a fantastic job on uh, the knife they put out, um, and a big congratulations to both of you guys. I'm proud of you, you lovely mofos. Um, but I really like I really like this one that flips a little better. Um, sorry, I gotta gotta have an opinion, but I just. I'm really impressed with what um, Casey and Ed were able to do. So, let me just go ahead and move on to the Tachyon now. I'm kind of digressing. Um, like I said, when I hold the Blade Runners and the Microtech hand in hand, like flipping with one on my right, one on my left, and then switch them, this, uh, this is still the one I'm favoring. It does flip a little bit better, but it does suck at aerials like this one does, it's just my opinion. Um, you have to, just have to loop the knives too much in order to get lots of rotations and you end up throwing them too high and it, I didn't like them very much at all. But again, this one does flip better. But, um, well, let me go ahead and get this. Let's see if I can get the serial number on there. The one I got in uh, 222 and 219. This is 222. Um, but I, I actually really like this latch too. Although, another big complaint about this is not only can you not remove the latch, it's not even a screw, it's just like a rolled up piece of um, aluminum into a pin and then shoved on in there. And it gets stuck. You can see I have a hard time moving that from side to side, and that's it's just poor quality. Um, I'm sure that could be loosened a little bit somehow, but I just I just don't like I don't like that one bit. Another thing I don't like about this knife, and it's probably almost a deal breaker for some people. It's almost a deal breaker for me. Is right here on these pivots. You can see there's like a little pin in the center. 
it prevents you from adjusting the knife yourself. And if I were to go ahead and get out my Torx screws right now, let me go ahead and do that actually. <laughs> uh, I don't know what these are. I can't even get one in there to even check. That's almost what it looks like. It almost looks like a T10. Maybe a little bit bigger, maybe a 15. Yeah, it looks almost identical to a 15. And they just prevent you from adjusting it, which I think is piss poor because if you get if you get a knife and you have to send it back multiple times because they don't know exactly which what's your preference on how loose you want your knife I mean obviously you want it loose enough to flip around but uh, I know sometimes I like my knife just about falling apart um, other times um, I like knives that are really tight really lock up really nice um, you know I just I don't like that you have to keep sending it back to them at their discretion um, I think that's piss poor also. Um, also, let me go on to the finish here because I, I really, again, I really love the way this knife flips. It's a really great flipping knife. It's really great for the price because it is much cheaper than the Alpha Beast. But you're going to have to live with some things on this knife because the finish, um, also on the handles, I'll never get it on focus in here either. Uh, maybe I can look right along the handles you can tell where the shape of the mold runs all up and down you can see the uh, the lines they didn't bother to um, to sand those off I don't know if they didn't bother I just I don't know but there's even a spot up here by the uh, by the pins where there was actually a loose particle from the um, from these lines here that you'll never be able to see. I'm sorry about that, but you could probably make it out just a hair there. Maybe not. Alright, I need to get going. Um, that's that's probably one of the biggest downfalls in life is there was a little particle here and it got chipped off and now you can see the silver, uh, the titanium in there and that, you know it's just piss poor. Um, so I'm running out of uh, film here so I'll go ahead and wrap this up here guys. Uh, this is what you're left with. That's my quick review of all of these knives um, if you like heavier smaller blades definitely get these these are the way to go uh, you can't go wrong with any of them they did a really good job on these uh, the blade runners this is a very good beginners blade a very unique knife very sharp very solid very nice looking knife uh, this one here flips um, phenomenally um, but has very bad aesthetic issues take care guys